Hello, everyone. Welcome to join 5G uh, HCIA certification course. Today, our topic is uh, 5G motivation and the industry progress. And before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Liu Da Yong. I'm a trainer from the wireless training department. OK, now let's start our topic, 5G motivation and industry progress. And our objective of this course is uh, after uh, completion of this course, uh, you are supposed to be able to describe uh, the 5G application scenarios. Okay, we have three scenarios after the course. I think uh, you should be familiar with them. Second is to uh, describe the 5G protocol standardization. Thirdly is to de describe the evolution and deployment of uh, uh, the 5G commercial uh, deployment plan. Okay, we have the three objectives. And to realize these three objectives, uh, we will arrange our course in four chapters. Okay, the first chapter is the driving force of 5G evolution. Uh, we will learn what drives the f uh, 5G okay, into our life. Second chapter is uh, the development of 5G protocol standardization. And the third one, 5G industry chain and ecosystem. And the fourth one, uh, the global commercial deployment plan of 5G. Now let's start with the first one, which is driving force of 5G evolution. We need to answer three questions about the driving force of 5G. First one is, what is 5G? Why is 5G required? And then, what can 5G do? After answered these three questions, I think we have known it clearly about the driving force of 5G. So the first question, what is 5G? 5G official name of 5G is IMT 2020. Uh, the IMT means uh, the improved mobile telephony. Uh, 2020 means it's a year of 2020. Okay. Uh, this IMT 2020 is defined by the World Radio Conference uh, in the year of 2015, held in Geneva. Uh, it is the ITUR. Okay, ITUR is a department of the United Nations. Okay. Uh, worked on the uh, telecommunication. And this ITUR defined the demand and requirement of 5G. Uh, so when we say 5G is a nickname of the system, okay? Its official name is IMT 2020, okay? The organization is ITUR who defines the 5G requirement. Uh, 